Freeman and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. And again we are looking at another Oakham Ale and it is the um, Green Devil IPA. This weighs in at a hefty 6%. It says so right there. And the best before on this one is the 31st of March 19. It says so somewhere around about here. Um, I've had the Citra, which was very, very good. I've had the uh, Scarlet McCaw, which is very, very good. So I've been really impressed with these guys. Um, again, there's the lid. I don't know which way it goes round. I think it's that way, actually. I think. Anyway, um, yeah, so the two I've had beforehand, the last two reviews. Really impressed with this beer. Really impressed with this brewer. Beautiful stuff. Tastes great. Really nice. Fierce quenching ale. Beautiful. Can't say enough good things about this stuff. I have had this before. I've had this in Witherspoons in Birkenhead on the Will. I am, and I don't think I thought much of it then. But I'm hoping I've got a, it's a little bit different from when I had it last. So, pop a top and see what we get. So there we go, beer in a glass then. Have a little look, see what you think. Beautiful, crystal clear, gold colour. Finger and a half, two fingers of bright white. The head. A little bit of crackling coming up from the bottom. If on the head, sorry. Looks great, doesn't it? Looks really good. Get a nose, see what it smells like. There's a lovely orange and lemon, um, and there's grapefruit. There's tropical flavours there. There's sort of um, mango. There's a bit of passion fruit. There's peel, there's white bread, malt. It smells great, it really does smell good. Let's have a taste, cheers. Body is really light, so is this carbonation. It's not watery, but it's really tasty. It sits in the mouth really nicely. Flavour wise, Flavour wise, it is exactly as it is on the aroma. There's bucket loads of citrus stuff. There's big hot flavours. There's big tropical fruit. It might, there's a little bit of sweetness there. Bit of mango in there, bit of sweetness. Nice dry finish, although I must say the citrus had a bigger, bigger dry finish than what this has got. But this is very, very drinkable indeed. It's so well balanced. Six percent alcohol is well hidden on it. I know it's only six, but alcohol is well hidden. It's refreshing, it's really refreshing. And as I say, it's super well balanced. Oh, that's a good, good beer. Now, as I said on the other three, the other two um, open beers, I'm not sure what the distribution is on these. This was bought as the three, three for five twenty five in booths in uh, Preston so I'm assuming that we can get you can pick up in most boot stores it was on offer um, you can get this in Witherspoons I've seen it so you can pick these up on Witherspoons do a takeaway as well so you can pick this up and take it away from your local spoons it's very good very very good indeed now I'm gonna finish the video here Last couple of things I've got to say. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Would I recommend it to friends? Oh, hell yeah, I would. This is absolutely delicious. I had so much better than the last time I had it. And that's why I think it was on draft, so it may have been a bit, bit, bit on its way out. Um, this is quality. You need to get this in your life. If you've had it, let me know what you think. Um, if you want to put a comment, please feel free. If you want to give us a thumbs up at the video, thumbs down if you don't. Um, that's me done. Need to buy this. I'll see you in the next one. Hail the ale.